Hey guys, Josh Fletcher here. Um, this is uh, my first AppleScript tutorial. Uh, I'm going to be teaching you guys uh, tail blocks, and I'm going to be teaching you about the three different types of variables. So um, to get started here, I'm going to ask you to open up your AppleScript editor. I have it in the dock right down here, but you can find it in Spotlight, AppleScript editor, or you can go into your Applications folder under Utilities, and here we go, AppleScript editor. And so, um, to get started here, AppleScript Editor is a super easy language. I can guarantee you, you're going to pick it up really quickly. Um, I, um, AppleScript in general, just like any other language, is uh, every script you're going to make is just a series of functions. And so, all, all you really need to know in AppleScript, or in any language, is what the functions are, how to use them, and then what they'll do. And so, uh, to start with you guys, I'm going to teach you the beep function. And so, beep is really simple. You just type beep. And so, now I'm going to click compile to compile the script. And so, when you click compile, it basically checks through all the scripts um, for errors, for spelling errors, um, any syntax errors. And so, if, if it compiles successfully, which will mean it will color your code like this, um, and then you can just click run. It's ready to run. So, I'm going to run this, and you'll notice beep just beeps once. And so beep is nice, um, it just beeps once if you type beep, but then it'll also, we can also feed it a number. And so it'll, it'll look for a number after it, but if we don't give it one, it'll just beep once like it just did. So let's give it a number, let's say two, and uh, let's compile this and then run it, and there you go, two beeps. So that's, uh, that's beep, it's a super easy function, I use it a lot just for telling me when there's an error that popped up, um, really easy. Um, but anyways, moving into um, applications. So AppleScript is great for two main reasons. Firstly, it is super easy to learn, like I already mentioned. And secondly, it is the greatest language for manipulating Mac applications. And so um, you can send emails and mail. You can open new conversations in iChat. You can navigate to uh, different websites in Safari. You can mess around in Finder. So we're, we're going to start by messing around in Finder. And to do that, we're going to use the tell function. You always use tell whenever you're uh, manipulating applications. And so tell works in blocks. It's called a tell block. And so you start by saying tell, and you're going to end with end tell. So um, spaces, I put some spaces here. It doesn't, AppleScript doesn't care about spaces. So it'll just read right over them. Any line with nothing on it, it just reads over. And so um, you'll notice if you try to compile this right now, it should give you an error. Expected expression but found end of line. And so this is because it wants to know what we're telling. So right now it says tell and tell. We're not saying tell, we're not giving it what to tell. And so we got to specify, we're going to say tell um, application. So first you got to specify what type of something you're telling. So we're telling an application and we're going to tell application finder. We're going to mess around the finder first. And so now you can compile this. I'm going to compile it with command K as the shortcut, make it easier on myself. And so um, one of the finder functions, each each application, each scriptable application, which is every application that uh, the Mac comes with, each scriptable application has its own application library where you can see all the functions. Um, I'll go into that in the next tutorial. But um, one of the most used finder functions is make new finder window. So I'm going to put this function in here, I'm sorry, <laughs> make new finder window. And so if you notice, I'm putting a function inside of a function. And so one of the, one of the terms that gets tossed around in your computer programming is nesting. So what I'm doing is I'm nesting this function inside of the tell function, inside of the tell block. So I'm nesting. So I'm going to compile this, command K, and then command R to run it. And boom, I have a finder window. And so um, uh, this is just simple finder scripting. So if I run it again, it'll give me another window and another window. Um, I can also, another uh, easy finder function is going to be close finder windows. So I'm going to command K, command R, and boom. It closes all of my finder windows. So um, that's, that's all the application scripting we're going to do today. Um, I also want to do some uh, some variable work with you guys, so I'm going to start that here. Um, in AppleScript, there are three different types of variables. You have strings, you have numbers, 
and you have a raise. Those are the golden three. You gotta remember these because if you get them mixed up and you try to compare strings with numbers, you're gonna end up in all sorts of trouble. So a um a string to start out with the first one. A string is um basically anything in quotations is a string. It's it's just a bunch of characters. And so um to set a variable, I'm gonna say set and then the variable name. So I'm gonna call it the variable here. And you can call it whatever you want. Um, set the variable to, so I'm going to set it to a string, so I'm going to put it in quotes. So I'm going to set the variable to, uh, let's say this is a variable. And so I'm going to command K, and so this looks good. And then I'm going to um, use the, uh, the return function. It's something I haven't taught you about yet, but um, so return, I'm going to say the variable. So it means down here in the result, this was the result of the last, the last script. Um, oh. This was the result of the last script, but um, so if I say return, then it will return whatever this value is, and that'll be the result of the script. So let's command K and then command R. So it returned the variable, and the variable was this is a variable. So it returned that, and we can tell that it's a string because it's in quotes, firstly, and secondly, um, numbers won't have uh, letters in them, obviously. And so, um, if we wanted to do a number instead of a string, we wouldn't use variable. Or we wouldn't use quotations. We would just put a number. So let's say 63. So I'm going to command K, command R, and notice down here there aren't any quotations. So that's how we know that it's a number. And so you got to be super duper careful between the uh, the difference between numbers and strings, because uh, <laughs> it's something that I always personally mess up on. I'll try to compare a number to a string. So I'll set the variable to 5, set other variable to 5 here, let's make this one a string. So the variable here is a string, but other variable is 5 as a number. And so this is, this is a huge difference. So if I was going to try to say, um, is the variable equal to other variable, which I'll, I'll teach you how to do later in, a, uh, in one of the further um, tutorials, but if, if I was to try to compare these, it, it wouldn't accepted it would tell me that these aren't the same which would be a huge problem if I was looking for it and so um, one of the things that we can do though is we can change a string into a number so we're gonna do that like this we're gonna reset the variable so set the variable to the variable so the variable right now I'm sorry the variable right now is um, 5 as a string and so we're gonna set the variable so 5 as a string as number and so now if we run this and it's going to return the variable, notice there aren't any quotations here anymore. It's a number now. And so that's how we convert from string to number. But you have to be careful with this, with as number, because if, if this was a term right here, if this was a string that couldn't be changed into a number like 5a, and then we tried to run it, it would give us an error and say can't make 5a into type number, because you can't turn a letter into a number, obviously. So, um... Yeah, that's, uh, that's it for this first tutorial. Super simple variables and tell blocks. Um, so if you have any uh, questions or comments or suggestions for what I should do in the future, whether it be advanced scripting, intermediate scripting, beginning scripting, um, just shoot me a, a personal message over here at hackmac.org slash forum. Um, or send me an email at uh, joshfletcher at gmail.com. I have it down in the description below. And uh, thanks for watching, guys.